Okay, you guys are looking at a MacBook Pro and it's running the newest operating system called Mac OS Sierra. So if you guys are watching this video, you may already know that in upgrading your computer to Sierra, Boot Camp no longer supports Windows 7 and Windows 8. Before I knew that, I went, I purchased a valid copy of Windows 7 Ultimate. When I got it, I said, all right, let me update my operating system on the Mac side before I do the update so I could really be running the newest operating system. What a big mistake that was because, like I said before, Boot Camp no longer supports it. So I said, all right, what do I do? Do I return the copy of Windows? Do I download Windows 10? Really, I did not want Windows 10. I have nothing against it, but personally for me, I, I just do not like it. I love Windows 7. For me, that's one of the best operating systems that Windows has ever came out with. So moving on with the video, we're on Mac OS Sierra. We have 16 gigs of RAM. We have a 500 gigabyte hard drive, and um, that's really what we're working with. So two of the main differences between Boot Camp and Parallels, which is what this video is going to be talking about, is with Boot Camp, it really requires you to either boot your computer with Windows or boot it in Mac. Basically, it partitions a piece of your hard drive for Windows 7. With Parallels, it does not need a partition from the hard drive. You can set how many gigs of storage space you'd like it to max out at, and what I mean by that is if you go into the storage section, I still have 428 gigabytes available out of 499. I've only used 71 gigs of RAM. That's not because I downloaded Parallels or I'm running Windows 7. That's just from my music, my videos. So if I was running Boot Camp right now, my storage would be somewhere around here. Because with Boot Camp, it requires you to... Like I said, partition a piece of your hard drive. So most people running Windows 7 or Windows 8 want to be at about 50 gigabytes to 100 gigabytes of partition space because the more programs you download, the more space it's going to take up and require. So you don't want to be stuck with a 50 gigabyte partition hard drive when you need about 100 gigabytes of space. So that's like why I like Parallels because you could set it and set it to 100. That doesn't mean it's going to take 100. It's just when you do use more than 100 you would want it will give you a message and say hey look you probably should want to take more space out so parallels is the only program where you could simultaneously run windows and mac at the same time so we're going to get this started we're going to open it up a window should pop up rather quickly just like this and we're going to start windows 7 Okay, so this is acting like we just turned my computer on for the first time because I had Windows 7 completely off and it starts up really quickly. All right, so right now we're on Windows 7 simultaneously when we're on Mac. So this is how easy and how clean it is to switch between the two of them. If we were running Boot Camp, I would need to shut down my Windows and boot on the partition of the hard drive. So if I want to switch between the two of them, I would not be able to do this. So that's basically it. I really wanted to show you most people who do have Macs, they want clean um, lines. They don't want a program that's kind of glitchy. And that's what my biggest concern was when running Parallels. But I just want to let you guys know it's very clean, very simple. Uh, it doesn't take up any space. So we're going to check on the top right here. I'm going to show you guys a couple of quick features before I let you go. And uh, one of them is in here. And you're going to click Control Center. Okay, we're going to go back, we're going to go to configure, and now this is in the Windows 7 side where you could click CPU mem memory. I do a lot of photo editing. The whole reason I got Windows 7 is because I'm going to do a lot of uh, a lot of pictures. I shoot weddings, I have three, four hundred pictures, and going between them on a Mac is rather difficult, so this is normally set at one gig. What that means is when you're running Windows 7, it's going to borrow one, two, three, four, whatever you set it at gigabytes from your RAM. So right now I have it at four, which is pretty good. Most computers nowadays come with four, six, eight, ten gigs. Some come with 16. So four gigabytes is going to be used while I'm running Windows 7. When I shut Windows 7 down, these four gigs go right back to the Macintosh side. If I go into the hard disk space, which is what I was talking about before, I have it set for 128 gigabytes. 
remember when we checked my storage I only had about 70 taken so like I said all this means is once I all it means right now is the way I have it set up is I can't go above 128 gigabytes that doesn't mean it's borrowing this right now it just means this is what I have it set at I could put it to 5 right now 5 gigabytes all that means is this is what it's maximum allowed to use before it gives me a message and says hey look you know kind of add a little more it doesn't partition a hard drive which is what I really like so you guys can mess around with the settings in here uh, you can go into the tool section, um, some options in here. But uh, other than that, it's really a great program. It's super simple uh, to switch between the two of them. It's clean. Um, and that's about it. If you guys have any questions, you guys can comment down below, and I'll do my best to help you out. All right. Take care.